for the day. Yeah, we can cover this one here real quick if someone doesn't have a, a request. Um, and then uh, we'll do one more uh, Star Wars trivia for the day. Uh, so, but this one, so there, this is really easy. It's just asking you to do some interpretation on this. So you don't have to do too much math on these, if I recall. But you do have to be careful about what you answer because there are two different types of problems rolled into this one. Now, you'll get the explanation the first time that you start. And depending on which one you get right off the bat, the explanation will be a little bit different. So the only thing that you have to notice about these is, yes, these are frequency polygon or uh, the histograms right here. And so you have a frequency on, on this side. But sometimes it says relative frequency. And so relative frequency is always going to be a percent, okay? Not necessarily a count, all right? And so just check that. Every single time you do one of these, just check right here in this upper left-hand corner of the, of the uh, of the uh, problem, it'll either say frequency, which is a hard count, or it'll say relative frequency, where you have to do a little bit of math on it. All right, and so let's go let's go do one of these here real quick. See how this one says relative frequency, and so we're going to notice right off the bat. Okay, these are these. This is a percent, not a hard count. All right, based on the histogram, find the proportion of mathematics test score in the sample that are at least six hundred and fifty. All right, and so proportion, all right, proportion, part of a whole, okay, relative frequency here. So you're going to just add these together in this case, all right? At least 650, so anything greater than 650, all right? So we're just going to take this one, add this one, this one, this one, and that's going to be our answer right there. So dot 3 plus dot 24 plus dot 08. You can just add these together in that case. And so 62% of our observations are greater than 650, all right? And so does it want this as a decimal? Yeah, it wants it as a decimal. So dot 62, there we go. And actually, Alex might yell at me here. I'm curious. Sometimes Alex will yell at you if you don't put a zero in front of it. Let's see if it does that. Yes, however, it is customary not to start a number with a decimal point. Bad. <laughs> so, but it still gave me credit for it. So it's cool. All right. Anyway, let's move on. See how this one here says frequency, but it still wants to find the proportion. So you're going to have to take these numbers and divide them by the whole to get that relative frequency because it's looking for the proportion in this case. All right. Um, less than 920 pounds. So everything to the left of this, less than 920. So we're going to take this 2, add the 6, add the 9. And so that gives us 17. But in order to get the proportion of that, we have to divide that into the whole. So which is 25, which is 25 right there. And so dot 68, 0 dot 68. All right. Those are the two types of problems that you see here. OK, so just be careful when it's giving you whole numbers like this. You're going to have to divide it out to get the proportion. If it's giving you relative frequency, you can just add them up because they're already proportioned out. Hope that makes sense. So there we go. 